Uh, hi everybody, uh, Friday's come around again, so I um, hope you all have a great weekend this weekend. Uh, thanks uh, students and teachers and parents uh, for all of your terrific community spirit uh, that you show uh, working together. It's been another great week of learning, lots of exciting things uh, happening on remote learning, but most excitingly that our uh, Prep to 2 students will be back at school next week and um, on Tuesday the 26th. Uh, Monday the 25th, there will be no remote learning and no school. Uh, it is a curriculum day for the teachers to plan. So um, on Tuesday the 26th, year three to six is back to remote learning and prep to twos, you will be at school. I'm um, just going to get into the birthdays and then I'm gonna get on to some formalities about Tuesday. Um, but happy birthday to Reed Hutchison, uh, Jack from 3B, uh, Sky from 3B, Charlie May from 45B, Ozzie Duncan from 6A, uh, Isaac from 45E, and um, today, the 22nd of May, it's Harry Proctor's birthday. So Harry, uh, happy birthday, um, and everyone, I, I hope um, that uh, you really got to enjoy your birthdays. Um, I'm going to move on to just our year three to six students. Uh, you're doing a really, really uh, a fantastic job. Uh, we want you to hold on to your iPads um, to continue remote learning, and then you can return your iPads um, on the 4th uh, or 5th of June at the latest. So I'll, I'll send you a reminder about that, but you will need them until uh, the, the 4th of June and hand them back in on the 5th of June at the latest. Um, so keep up the good work with your remote learning. If anything happens with your iPads, they play up, just let us know at school. Uh, remember to use the school email address, barwin.heads.ps at edgemail.vic.gov.au. Um, prep to two parents. Um, this also applies for three to six parents. Um, you are starting on the 26th of May and attached to the, to, uh, the compass post are two very important documents. The first one is the staggered start information. And I've created a one pager, very, very specific to the staggered start um, procedures that we're going to take up. So um, it looks like this, it's attached to the compass post. You, you need to really read it carefully. We're relying on parents to take this, um, to, to understand this document and understand what we would, we need you to do to support this whole process. So there are so many things in place that have been recommended by the Chief Health Officer, Department of Education. We're putting those into place. And this staggered start and pick up drop off process, we need to nail it because it's the first step in making sure that we get it right. I'm hoping that you know over the next couple of weeks we can relax some things, uh, but, but for the time being, this is what we need to do and we need to do it well. So look at that document. Um, I've also attached the same document that I sent out on Wednesday, um, the return to school document, which outlines a whole lot of whole range of things that we're doing. Um, so please look at those documents. It's most important. Um, On-site supervision next week uh, from Tuesday to Friday and the week after is available for students in year three to six, but there is still the request to stay at home if you can to do your remote learning, but families who really need the support you know, both parents are at work, uh, can't get out of it, or health issues or whatever it is, please let us know um, and have a conversation with us about that so we, we uh, know your intention. Um, so thanks very, very much for, for hearing me out um, and watching the clips. Please make sure you look at those documents um, and understand them and talk to your children about them. Uh, prep the two parents. If there are any concerns about Tuesday in the lead up, please contact us Monday but please have the confidence in your children that they'll be able to actually uh, show up at school and get to class on their own. Um, so start to prepare them for that. Thank you.